friends, I am Sneha Sabla. I am an audiologist and speech language pathologist. Welcome to our channel Sparkling Activities. The motto behind this channel is that we are going to pick up some simple and very easily available household objects and we are going to design and create some simple activities with the help of these objects. These activities are going to be very innovative and creative and it will help you all to keep your children engaged in a very beautiful and fun and meaningful manner. So we are going to upload a video every single Wednesday. For today's video, what we have done is we have selected these easily available tea cups. These are very easily available in your tea stalls or even in our houses that we use for any juice purpose. So generally what we do is we dispose these cups in the bin. Instead of that, we are using this waste material and creating some simple activities. There are four activities that we are going to show you all for this video today. There is a part two of this video wherein we are going to show you all some more activities with the help of these cups. So some videos may have a part two and some videos may not have a part two. So towards the end of the video, we will let you all know whether there is a part two of that video. So let's get started. So for activity number one, what we are going to do is we are going to arrange these cups in a very simple manner. We are going to make a four layer tower with the help of these cups. So what I have done is there are four cups that are there in the lowest layer. Then between these two cups, I am going to place one more cup. So this is a way in which I am making a simple tower of these cups. So you all can see that as you all move ahead, what happens is the number of cups reduces by one. So there is four, three, two and one cups. Now I'm sure all of you all have done this activity at least once in your lifetime. It's a very beautiful activity and I'm very sure that your children will enjoy this activity. So this was activity number one. Now let's move on to activity number two. As you all can see, what we have done is we have taken these cups which are slightly bigger in size. If you all want, you all can take smaller cups as well. Also try and ensure that while you all perform these activities, the fan is switched off so that it becomes easier for your children to do the activities. For activities number uh, for activity number two, as you all can see, this is the open end of the cup and this is the closed end. So the open end is going to face downwards and the closed end is going to face upwards. So this is a very simple two layer tower that we are making of these cups. So in a similar manner, you can ask your child to copy this particular pattern. You can give him a one minute time span and ask him to make as many towers as he can with the help of this simple activity. So this was activity number two. Activity number three is a slight variation of this activity number two. So like in activity number two, what you will see is that the open end of the cup faces downwards. In activity number three, it's going to be the opposite, whereas the, wherein the open end of the cup faces upwards and the second cup, the open end will face downwards. So this is again a two layer tower and a very simple activity. All these activities that you will see are going to target your child's attention, concentration, fine motor skills, his visual perception. So there are several developmental areas that you are going to work on with the help of this very simple play activity. So this is activity number 3. You all will need around 10 to 12 cups for doing these activities. And it is not necessary that you do these activities with your children. You all can keep these activities as a competition activity for your other object, uh, for your other events and functions that take place on a regular basis. So now let's move on to the last activity of today's video. That is activity number four. four. Now activity number four is a combination of activity number two and three. Wherein what we are going to do is this open-ended uh, side goes downwards and then the open-ended side comes upwards. So basically what I am going to do is, I am going to make a very simple and a single layered tower. Uh, Multi-layered tower but a single in a single line. So this is how it will go. Now generally because we are using slightly bigger cups, we won't be able to move much higher. So if you want to make this activity simple for your children, you all can select smaller size cups. So this is activity number four. So there were four different activities that we showed you all today with the help of these cups. There is a part 
two of this video where we will show you all more activities again with the help of these cups. So please do like, share, comment and subscribe to our channel and also give us your feedback regarding any kind of household object that you all want us to come up with creative activities with. So happy playing. Thank you.